Ladies and gentlemen, so today got something cool to kind of talk about, briefly show, not a lot to show at the moment, but we do have this little recall box project going on here. So this is going to be, it's not quite there yet, work in progress, but this is the retro classic version four essentially or that's what it's going to be so i do have a couple themes that i ported over to recall box they are not my themes they are wreckage theme the nes mini classic i have on here and then the comic book theme by the tmnt turtle guy awesome themes a little XML editing to get things working, um, mostly getting the favorites to work on our systems. Boom, favorites right there, very functioning menu system. Everything with that works out great. Pretty awesome stuff to be able to use that, especially when you're going to be dealing with thousands of uh, games and whatnot so that's pretty cool we have our favorites menu there so for example you go into your games i have it set to you hit the y button that adds your game to to your favorites you back out go to your favorites and now both of these are in there so that's pretty awesome stuff in my opinion um now a couple issues that i'm having and I've been kind of tweaking with things, trying to figure it out. If anybody has any ideas, throw them at me. But with the comic book theme anyway, you know, I had to do some a very minor editing of the XML files, which was nothing major. Don't get me wrong. There's nothing genius behind it. Just a couple little things that I had to tweak um, to get the, you know, most of the functions that Recall Box has going on for it, you know, to work properly with the theme anyway. Um, but the one issue that I'm coming into on the comic book theme is when you scrape through the, the you know, the game's database scraper, it crashes the system. You know, so it, say, for example, I take whatever Nintendo I have in there and I scrape that. You know, I, I go into, you know, if I had a whole list of things or if I just scraped one game at a time, it doesn't matter. If I scrape it, it'll go through, grab everything. But the second I go back into the Nintendo menu, it just crashes recall box. Now, if I go back in and I change the theme, everything works fine. The box art's there, the description, everything looks good. But for some reason, I can't figure it out, and I've been tweaking with it all day. So if anybody has any thoughts or ideas on what I may be doing wrong, hit me up. Join our Facebook group. Throw it out there. Help a brother out. But, you know, eventually I'll probably figure it out. But, hey, if, if somebody out there has, you know, more experience, which anybody who's messed with this stuff probably has more experience than I do as far as messing with themes anyway. You know, I can do basic graphical, you know, changes and whatnot but once it you know you start getting into weird issues like that with the uh the scraping i'm not 100 percent. i've gone through tons of different things looking up a lot of different information to try to get help and i'm not finding it might be looking in the wrong places so i'm hoping the community out here can maybe steer me in the right direction so join that facebook group it's in the description a lot of a lot of news a lot of cool stuff that's going to be going on there fairly new group but we're getting it together. It's going to be a cool place. Check her out. But back to this. Let's switch over to the NES Mini theme. Okay, guys. So this is the, the NES Classic Mini theme by Ruckage. This is essentially, this is off of his new version that came out. But since Recall Box doesn't support the features of that theme, we're not going to get the new icons and whatnot. But I would suppose... In the future, if there's an update to Recall Box where we get that kind of support, I'm hoping that this will just convert to that, to the way that new version is set up since it does have that built into this. Um, but we'll just have to wait and see. You know, I don't have an issue with the way the original version looked, but the new version is just so damn slick, you know. Can't complain. 
really awesome stuff. We do have the background music support, you know, built in the recall box. So you can easily utilize that, um, add your own music, use the music that I've, you know, that I have on here. You know, however, however you want to look at it, however you want to deal with that. But it's pretty simple, you know, if you don't want the music instead of just deleting the files, you can easily just go in here and, and turn it off. Front end music off. We don't want to hear it, you know, that kind of thing. So that, that's cool that that's built into the, the main menu here. So we do have a lot of cool stuff that you can just do from here since we do not have, you know, like a normal menu where we can do those options at. So as you see right here, our favorites, it does function. Our favorites do function in this, in this menu or in this theme anyway, but I don't have the artwork for it, but I am gonna convert some for the NES mini version of this, you know, this theme. That way we have a, a spiffy looking favorites menu here. Um, just didn't have the chance to do that yet, but you know, something basic, it'll, you know, fit with the theme, I, I suppose. But it does function just like it does in the, the comic, comic book theme or in the normal recall box theme or any of the other themes they have out there uh, that's made specifically for recall box. They do work. I've converted everything to ensure that the favorites work on these themes since they weren't originally made for recall box. But it was pretty, pretty easy, just time consuming to go through all the uh, systems in the theme to make sure the XML files supported that. It was a pretty pretty simple thing to do. Nothing major. I said I'm not extremely experienced in this kind of stuff. You know, I have a little bit of experience tweaking with certain things, but as far as these themes and getting them to work with, with recall box, you know, today's really the first day I really dove into it and decided, you know what? Let me see if these work on here. And if they don't work or if they don't function 100%, what can we do to get them to, to function 100%? And in my opinion, the NES mini theme, even though it's not the updated version, essentially, works 100%. You can go in here, scrape your image, you know, scrape everything for the images, get your your descriptions and everything, you know, with an emulation station, pretty nifty. It's just that comic book theme, for some reason, I'm running into that issue. It's probably something simple that I'm just overlooking and I'm hoping somebody could steer me in the right direction because who knows how long it'll take for me to figure out on my own, you know? I'm not the smartest guy in the world. But I'll, you know, I'll probably eventually figure it out doing research and just diving into it. But I'm hoping, you know, maybe somebody out there has an idea and can point me in the, you know, the, the right path to get her going properly. So, you know, with the, the images scraped, if you have them scraped in the NES mini theme or any of the, you know, standard recall box themes that's available or, you know, recall box themes that are made for recall box, you know, emulation station themes made for recall box. Scraping the artwork, getting everything, you know, the information works fine. It's just the comic book theme. Don't know what it is, but we'll figure it out. I'm 100% I'm sure we'll figure that out because I do love this Nintendo theme, this NES Classic mini theme, but that comic book theme, my God, it's, it's just so beautiful and unique. You know, this is, this is awesome too. Don't get me wrong. Some people might like this over the comic book theme. I'm, I'm just kind of, I'm in the middle. I love them both, so... I don't know, that's why I kind of want them to both be on here and both of them function 100%. That way there's options. Um, so yeah, that, that was pretty much it. This was just kind of a first look to look at a project that I'm working on. Not necessarily like, hey, you know, check all this out. This is what the contents are. That's not what this is about whatsoever. This is just a project video, first look. This is what I'm dealing with. This is what I'm working on. These are the troubles that I'm, I'm encountering. Maybe somebody could help. Maybe not. Maybe I'll figure it out on my own. I don't know. Um, but that, that was pretty much it. I just wanted to throw this out there. Have you guys take a look. See what I'm working on. Um, you know, just throw it out there. If somebody has an idea, throw it at me. Let me know. Help me out if you can. Help a brother out. Uh, but yeah, that's it. Join the Facebook group. Link will be in the description. Come on over, you know, a lot of cool things going on in that group. It's kind of a small group at the moment, but it's building up. Just barely started a couple days ago. It's it's getting hot in there, you know, pretty awesome stuff everybody's discussing. Um, really cool group of guys and girls. Uh, you know, we got the ladies and the gentlemen. So come take a look at that. Smash that like button. Ugh. Or don't, you know, either way. But I would I would prefer if you <clears throat>
smashed it. Subscribe if you're not a subscriber already. We do got a lot of cool stuff coming up, projects, modifications, some 3D printed stuff going on, a lot of little cool projects, a little a bunch of gadgets and so a lot of cool stuff just really a lot of cool stuff going to be going on with this channel so with that said i'll catch you guys next time appreciate everything love you guys thank you boom